Hi and welcome to today's new quick tip. What I'm going to cover is how to create proxies on the fly. Like if we're working in 3D and we have a high res geometry or very high density geometry, how we could actually create a very basic uh, proxy mode. In this case, when we click proxy, automatically we could change from the high res to the low res. Uh, this helps a lot because we could actually have a very low res version of our of our mesh, see where actually it's located, where it's going, and uh, we don't need to load that high dense mesh, but when we're gonna render, we could actually activate the high res mesh and go back and forth. Uh, right now, it's not possible if you have a geometry inside of Nick to just click on proxy and make that a low res geometry. So we have to use a little bit of expressions in order to be able to or if then in order to be able to to make this a little bit quicker right and change from one geometry to another so the first thing that we do is actually we export a low res version and high res version out of any of our 3d packages um, and in this case what I have is a very simple expression so let me go ahead and load both of them so you guys could see okay so we will have a high res version of it and a low res version of the character okay and our job is to make sure that these two switch back and forth as soon as I hit the proxy button, right? So we'll have my low res version uh, when I hit the proxy and my high res version when I turn off that proxy and go back to the normal mode. So how we do that? Well, the only thing that we need to do is I'm going to disable this guy for now and then close all my properties here uh, so that way we could see very quick. The only thing that we have to do is one way of actually adding a switch node. And with the switch node, uh, what we're trying to say is we want this to switch between one version or another using our proxy. So if I take the switch, you will see that as soon as I do this, low, high, low, high, low, high. So you can see the which is switching. So let's go ahead and delete the switch and let's go and create a new one. I don't need that transform in there. So I have my high res mesh right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new switch node. And I'm going to put that switch node in there and say when I'm out of my proxy mode is going to be zero when I in my proxy mode is going to be one so for that in my switch node I'm going to go ahead and create a new expression in there so I'm going to say if proxy I want you to be um, so I want you to be one in this case that I set up my lowest proxy there and then if not I want you to be zero that is my high res over here so I'm going to hit OK on that and when I activate my proxy, there we go. We have the low res mesh. When I activate, unactivate the proxy, we have our high res mesh. And that's essentially how simple it is. Now, if you were going to do it with the traditional meshes inside of Nuke, let's say you have a card or you're creating displacements or something like that that needed a lot of uh, divisions, you could do exactly the same thing. So if I go to my card here, so what we're going to do is in the rows and columns, Right now is eight and eight. Let's say I don't need that to be that much. Um, let's say I just want a little bit less on that. Um, so for that, I'm going to go ahead and say if proxy. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to hit the equal sign very quick. Uh, and if proxy, I want you to be just um, two divisions. If not proxy, uh, we want this to be, let's say, 100 divisions. And I'm going to hit OK. And the same is going to happen here. So you could take exactly the same expression there, option C, and hit equal there, option V. Okay, so now we have uh, um, our mesh that right now is very, very dense. So essentially what we do as soon as we activate the proxy mode, boom, it's down to two. We unactivate that, it's down to the high res. So that's a quick tip uh, for you guys to, to kind of work a little bit more or more efficiently with geometry inside of Nuke. I hope you like it. Bye-bye.